Guys, I am a complete and utter failure at this game, and it's not like I've actually done it. I made it to the freaking moon, and I went in there on a low orbit, flew straight by, and what do you know? It was just a test run, so I was like, well, this shit works, let's record. <laughs> And then I um, then I just left the game because I figured okay it's not it's not gonna save then and bam, what do you know the contract is gone we now have a shit ton of money, we only have a shit ton of money because we finished the mission so props to me. Uh, let's just uh, leave the garage for now not the garage but the vehicle same thing and actually recover our moon orbiter. There you go you can see recover that one, sixty two signs. Temperature scan while in space high over. Okay, we were actually high, so we can actually go lower. So let's do it again <laughs> and recover from a flyby. Yup, we've done that exactly. Next, go. Jebediah got some experience. Beautiful about this. There we go. Problem solved. Beautiful. So, first of all, let's go in here and see do we have anything that our newly acquired science can actually like. Just make life a little bit easier for us. There was something I wanted ICS ports. That was what I wanted. And where do we get those? Where do we get them? Oh, beautiful. The advanced flight control. Let's go ahead and research that. Because then we can always, always go on to the space station after this. For now. Let's focus on the moon. Let's do a low fly by this time then. Then we know that we can actually like get both of them. And then we've been there two times and we've done it. And you guys can see that I can actually acquire, do something in this game. Which is nice. Who doesn't want to be able to do something in this game? So let's uh, go ahead and do it. Let's launch this beautiful thing here. Alright. Let's uh, get ready for takeoff. And, and try again because I forgot something. Alright, so the trick is here, and this is something I calculated from my like years of experience as a rocket developer in KSP. We're gonna limit that one, but just let it help a little bit while we go up. So let's try that again. And let's fly. Let's maybe just yoink this up to 45. That's perfect. So we now have liftoff. Of this beautiful thing the next thing we're gonna do is upgrade that space ship building thing building over there so we can build some bigger spaceships than what we're doing right now but let's just let this thing take off and I will see you guys in space so we're slowly getting ready here to separate the uh, first two side boost the thingy rockets that we have let's fire up the main rocket and let's drop those because we don't need them anymore. Did we hurt ourselves? I don't think we did. Don't mind it. It's just a scratch. So let's lean down here. Man, this is going to be a perfect, like, perfect arch we're going to create here. I literally don't know what that's called. We went to one side and now we're going, why is Valentina going now? What happened to Jebediah? No. Well, we don't. It's all good. Valentina can get some attention too. So we wanna, we wanna, we wanna create an apoapsis here that is around, I think, ninety or something. I honestly don't know. Let's just put the moon as target so we know where to go. We're looking pretty good on the descending node and the ascending node. Like half a degree off is is pretty solid. Pretty solid indeed. How much boost? Oh, we have so much fuel left. This is a good rocket I've built. I've actually done something for once in this game that is actually good. And I'm proud of myself. So now let's just wait for this apoapsis to get to around 90 kilometers. This is a beautiful, beautiful spaceship. Alright, approaching 90 kilometers. Beautiful. Let's just go up there a bit. 93. That is amazing. And look what we can do now because I actually upgraded those, like the tracking station and the mission control now we can drag out these and let's see can we get an encounter oh it's so close what if we move this a bit there we go we have a goddamn moon encounter we want the periapsis to be lower oh shit
Wait, we're crashing into the moon right now, aren't we? Nope. Yup, we are. So now we can do this, and let's drop this way down. 13 kilometers, that is a close approach indeed. Let's go for that one, and then we just have to correct it afterwards. Because we're actually going to crash directly into Kerbin, and we don't want to do that. Like, that's never a good idea. Trust me. So go to the note here. There we go. In three, two, one. Let's start burning again. So I think we're going to have to cut the boost there, but it's good. Because the boost is actually going to take us a long way. I think we might end up leaving a booster up here, but it's all good. We don't need it anyways. It's done its duty. So see, still burning strong, still burning strong. And we're running out of fuel, so let's get ready to separate and boost. Oh my. This craft is literally amazing. Let's watch what happens here. And follow our burn node. I actually think we can close if we press there. Let's just do that when we get... We have a moon encounter. Let's get within 100k. 100... Oh my, look at that. 14,000. That must be low. That must be low. Good. So let's go with the flow here. Let's fly all the way to the moon. Believe it when I say that we literally just made it to the moon once more. Look at how much fuel we still have left. Oh my, what a run, what a run. And we are approaching it quickly here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh my god, we are coming in quick. We want to get as low as possible, and when we are low, we're going to fire those service base. I honestly don't know what a low orbit is on the moon, so let's just... Like, when we get to 20k, we're going to do it. There we go. Crew report, 50, holy crap, 15 signs, beautiful. Let's do some pressure readings, lock pressure data. That is so much signs, shine, shine. <laughs> this is beautiful. Close those doors again, we don't need you anymore. Good stuff. Let's get back to the, uh, let's get back onto Kerbin. And then we're going to have to correct this because we are, like on a direct crash course right now into the curbing, which is uh, less than ideal. There we go. Periapsis is here. Of about 50,000 meters. There we go. Around 50 kilometers. Because then we can air brake, you know, fly close to the uh, to Earth and then use Earth gravity to slow us down. I've seen it in the movies. It works. Trust me. It does. I've seen multiple... Like, NASA even does it. So, why should... God dang it, I almost overshot it there. Look at that. We have a periapsis. And yes, I just realized that I said NASA, which I am... I'm a fucking idiot. I know. <laughs> but we made it. We made it. 71,000. That's just... Reversed that a little bit. Down to what? 51,000. Beautiful. So now all we have to do is just get close to Earth. Holy crap. Things go so quick when you warp. It's amazing. It's so amazing. Right. So. Where am I even approaching from? I'm trying to spin this around to make it. Something like this, maybe? Yeah, that's probably good. So let's go into Earth atmosphere here and see if we can try to not, you know, just completely burn up. This camera is so confusing. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Fingers crossed that we're not going to die. We might heat up a bit, but it is all good. Look at that. We're slowing down. We're slowing down. This actually works. And I'm actually heating up a lot. Please don't do that. We don't want to blow up. All right, we made it live for the first round. Now we're just going to have to go all the way around Earth and come back. We hit the atmosphere again. I 
literally don't know if this is gonna work. I honestly can't tell because I want to keep. I should just throw away this booster, but I want to keep it to help us slow down even more. This. I'm so good at this game. We just went to the moon first try. What? If you like, did don't take the second video into consideration. It's all good though. It's all good. We made it. We here. Now we just have to land. All right. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit here and just like fire the shit out of my rocket right here, right now. Honestly, that's a stupid ass idea. Should we do that? Nah. Yeah. We should. We should. Let's just drop it now. We don't need it anymore. So, we're actually gonna cut that away. There we go. There goes our engine. There goes us. We're slowing down so much quicker now. Awesome. And our periapsis just went away. And we might actually land on land. Which is sick. Somewhat not close at all to the Kerbin Space Center, but... It's all good. It's all good. This is perfect. The mission here is that we want to keep this like cone thingy spaceship as much centered into that burn thing as possible because then this is shrouded from the heat. So we should in theory be good if I get this game correctly. I still do know I don't, but it's all good. I can honestly say I'm 100% I'm losing faith in this right now because listen to this. That's such a scary sound. <laughs> Will we survive? I'm sort of tempted to open the service bay just to use, you know, those flaps as extra wings because holy shit, we're still going strong. Like, we are moving fast. Do you think I'll explode if I do it? I won't, I won't. Let's wait, let's wait. Have faith in what we're doing right now. We're totally not gonna land on land, by the way. Alright, we slowed down. We're almost at a thousand meters per second now. I can't control this goddamn thing. Let's open up the service doors and see if that does anything. Wings. Oh no. No, 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 no. That was not supposed to happen. Slow down, you good thing. <laughs> if we've done all this work and I failed it at recording and I now do not land, then I'm gonna cry. We are slowing down a lot right now. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. God damn it, I succeeded at something in this game that is not flipping boosters the wrong way around. Or have I? Holy sh. Shit, we're coming down to the ground fast. Please slow down. All right, we got this. Surely we got this. Parachute 240, something like that. Parachute out. It's yellow. What does that mean? Let's close the service bay doors again. Will it, will it hold? I did it. I did something in this game. I did something valuable. And we have splashed down. Goddamn beautiful. Two times to the moon. Success. Two times in a row. Auto saving. Goes to tracking station. Let's recover that spaceship. Right, eh? So what are we going to use our money on? Let's upgrade this. That small parts force right there. This is so good. All right. What can we do? Build a new orbital station around Kerbin. We can do that. We're going to do that soon. Have it. Support five Kerbals? That's a lot of Kerbals. Um, explore the moon. In the grand scheme of things, we know very little about the moon. Okay. Position a satellite in a specific orbit on Kerbin. There's so many things we can do. But I feel like the most important thing we can do is build a new orbital station around Kerbin. We have to do that. So let's accept this one. And let's... Build the rocket for our rockets, like our space station. And once we've done that, let's call it an episode and then let's launch it in the next episode. Alright? Good. We did actually build... Wait, we have a ton of science. Let's go see what we can unlock. Surely we can purchase more. Like, I can't really tell what's better for us to go for, but I feel like... We just need more rocket parts. Like, fuel tanks and stuff, which is right here. What else can we get? Parachutes and landing gear? Nah. No one uses that anyway. But we also need this one in order to get more crew up there. Nah. I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna unlock this and then we're just gonna send a shit ton of spaceships to a space station. Perfect idea. So let's build our rocket here. Let's go for the Mark II command pod just because, yes, that is just what we need. 
That looks like a space shuttle window thing. I don't know if it is. Doesn't matter. We need a clambertron. Yes, please. Beautiful. So we're gonna send two Kerbals up there. Do we expect them to get back? I honestly don't know. Yeah. Let's see if we can bring him back too. That would be that would be cool. Oh this thing is so big. Let's just go with the Mark 1. Looks way better. The other one is way too big. It's ugly. We don't need that. <laughs> so the Clambertron coupler once more. Beautiful. Just what we need. Now we're we're, we're gonna do clever work here. So now we just need some sciencey stuff because you always want to bring science to space. Let's have this one there and have the thermometer right there. Beautiful. And also the mystery goes so we have something to work on. Nice. Is it too big now though? It could very well be. Let's scrap that one. Beautiful, looking good indeed. So we now also have some sciencey stuff going on. And we only need right this is looking so goddamn good. We need some electricals on here as well. Get some solar solar panels going. We are gonna onto that docking module. Put a down Probodow Bodine <laughs> with a fuel tank. And with that fuel tank we can actually leave this station 100% out in space without having to have an engine on it. So it's now just a module that can fly around out there. And then we can always fly out additional modules to it. But how are we going to steer it? We're going to do it with RCS. And we need a lot of these ports as far as I remember. And you got to be tactic about how you place them. If I do like that, can we open? Yeah, we can. Nice. So I'm guessing this is enough RCS ports. It must be. It must be. We can always, you know, just. There we go. That's a lot of modules. It's perfect, though. It's literally perfect. So that's going to be our. Wait, can we just go. Oh my. We are learning stuff here. So now we just have to carry all of this up because we need a big rocket for doing this. I'm done and I have literally built the most amazing thing. We're going to try this next episode. It's beautiful. Just look at it. Just look at it. It's going to be so good. We're going to launch our first space station and we're actually going to launch a perfect space station that doesn't have like ugly boosters and stuff all over. So it's going to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode. We finally made it to the moon. Three episodes in. We're doing good. Fourth episode. We're going to get ourselves our first freaking space station. The Tree Burger Space Station. It's going to be awesome. Until then, you guys must have an awesome day. Bye.